parents have been heading me off at the pass with lots of questions about their babies who seem to enjoy banging their heads against the floor crib. Well, let me see if I can provide some bang up advice on this topic. Head banging, although uncomfortable to watch, is actually a normal soothing or rhythmic behavior demonstrated by up to 20% of healthy infants and toddlers, usually between the ages of six months and three years of age. Boys do it three to four times more than girls. And while one worries that this behavior might be a sign of developmental delay or even autism, rarely will delay present without other clues as well. What causes so many healthy children to want to bang their heads? Maybe that your infant or child is frustrated, understimulated, overstimulated, or perhaps stressed by something. What we do know is often when it gets a parent's attention, infants and toddlers will do it again and again to keep that attention coming their way, especially when it's known that doing this will not harm or injure a child's brain or affect their intelligence since these young children lack the force to cause such damage. So what can we do about head banging? First, try to ignore this behavior as much as possible. Or if you see it starting, try distraction with a different activity to divert his or her attention. If it is done when your child's in the crib, pull the crib away from the wall and pad the sides and legs to soften the noise and the impact. Carpeting the floor can also do the same thing. Now, using a metronome or playing music has also been found to give your child a different rhythm to enjoy than that which they get from their own head banging. So when do you worry? If the head banging continues beyond three years of age and is interfering with sleep, or if your child is demonstrating other signs that may worry you about your child's development, such as not relating well to other people, avoiding physical contact with you, losing or not achieving expected developmental milestones, then talk to your child's healthcare professional since a more detailed developmental evaluation is in order, but this is rare. Hopefully, tips like this will head off any concerns you might have and smooth out the bumps when it comes to being concerned about your infant or toddler's head banging. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.